I was asked to balance this equation, so I'll show you how I would go about balancing it. It's a bit of a strange equation because we have this XH2O, this hydrated iron 3 oxide. So we have our iron Fe plus O2, oxygen gas plus water. Then we get this iron 3 oxide and XH2O. So this whole thing here is considered a hydrate of iron 3 oxide. So the way I would do it is I would balance the iron plus oxygen gives us the iron 3 oxide. I'll do that first and then leave the water till last. So let's balance this equation first. If I count the atoms up, it looks like this. So I'm ignoring these waters right now. Probably the best thing to do is if we put a 2 as our coefficient, that would get the oxygen to be an even number. 3 times 2, that would give us 6. That's an even number. We can fix that easily. Then 2 times 2, that gives us 4. So if I put a 3 in front of the O2, 2 times 3, that'll give us 6. So we balance the oxygens, and then we need 4 of these iron atoms. Put a 4 here, 1 times 4, that'll give us 4 of those. So this part of the equation here, this is balanced. Now for the water, this 2, this applies to everything. So we have 2 times H2O. If we put a 2 here, now the water molecules are balanced. We really don't know what X is supposed to be. We're not given that information. Typically, the hydrate for Fe2O3 will just be one water. This will just be one, and this would work out fine. But since we don't know, we're going to leave it as X, and this would be the balanced equation for Fe plus O2 plus H2O yields Fe2O3 dot X H2O. And note this dot typically should be up here, kind of between them like that, but often, because it's easier to do on a computer, people just leave it as a period here down at the bottom. I like it this way. This is Dr. V, and thanks for watching.